This video is part two of my eCube Maker Toy DIY 4-in-1 3D printer test and today we're testing the CNC engraving and the laser engraving modules and we're starting right now. Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome back to the Crosslink channel. I would like to help you being more successful with 3D printing and if you're here for the first time, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. So in the last video I've already unboxed did the setup and did some troubleshooting on the eCube Maker Toy DIY 4-in-1 3D printer. So I'll probably watch that video first if you missed it and then come back to this video because the first video covers already a lot of the troubleshooting that I had to do to get this printer initial work. It, it wasn't a lot but it might be important for you to see this first. And this video is sponsored by eCube Maker. They've sent me this device for free. Thanks for that. And I also want to mention that I'm giving away this awesome device by the end of March when I've done this video series. So if you want to be part of that giveaway, go to crosslink.io slash free to register. So the first thing I want to do today is to install the CNC engraving module and get my first CNC engraving test on this machine done. So let's get it out of this little box here. We should now be fine to insert this drill head fits nice. And then let's really, really tighten these grub screws very well. And the next step is to install this CNC carving raft onto the print base. You can see there's four holes here in this, in this carving raft. And then inside of this bag here, we have a few parts that we will need. So first of all, we have these screws here, and then we have four fixtures in the back and four little magnets. And these magnets are there to basically be put underneath of the fixtures and so they get a little bit of a distance from the carving raft and then you can yeah, basically screw them down to hold the part that you want to engrave. So the next step is to replace this FDM tool head with the CNC engraving tool head. So let's remove that first. And let's just remove it and take it out. I'm going to remove the cable carefully and also the PTFE tubes. And now let's take the CNC engraving tool head and just plug in the cable at the top. And then let's just slide it over fix it again with the hand screw. So I'm just going to remove this cover here. And that's one of the sample parts that comes with the printer. So I'm going to use this. The next thing is really to have it centered. So make sure it has equal distance from all sides. That looks great. And then we can move the fixtures over this part carefully. And then let's fix and tighten these screws. So it's really not moving anymore because that drill head is going to create some forces on the part that you actually want to engrave. So we want to really make sure that this is not moving in any direction easily. So the first thing after doing the installation, we need to switch to the CNC engraving mode. And after we've done that, after we basically run through this change tool head menu and we turned on the printer again, it's going to show us the CNC print guide and the CNC print guide is basically a four step process that walks us through all the steps necessary to get CNC printing set up correctly. So the first step is to place the objects so that is done already. And the next step is to move the axis so we can put the drill head in the center of this part and then bring it down to this part so we can actually define the carving distance. So I'm first using the move Z to bring this drill head down. So we put this in the center. So let's put the paper here, just bring it down just a little bit more. And I think the trick here is really that the paper should not be held. So not, this is just one little notch too much. And I'm just going back by one click and the paper can move freely and I think that's the right distance. So let's confirm that and let's now move the nozzle to the final center position. Yeah, that's that's as good as it gets. 
Now the third step is called set origin. That's probably just a confirmation that we are done setting the center position. Step number four is called print from ST. <laughs> Obviously it's not printing, it's engraving. So let's find our CNC engraving sample and let's run that. I'm curious what's going to happen right now. It's going up. And the motor starts spinning. It's trying to show us the boundaries of the area where it's going to carve. And I just noticed that it's probably going to hit this fixture here because it's going up quite a far. And here, I think on the lower end, that is that's probably good. So I have to just slightly move this up. I mean, that isn't a big deal, but it's good that it does this kind of a safety movement. So it shows you, okay, this is the area where I'm actually going to carve. And these are also pretty close. So let's just move them a little bit further down. So now it's centered again and it's also having the right distance, hopefully. And print something from DSD again. So now it's coming down slowly with the and carving head or with the drill and now it's hitting the surface so it seems to be that it's now starting to engrave So only three hours and 12 minutes later, the engraving is done. So let's clean up a little bit here and then let's have a look at the result. So have a look. This is the final engraving result. So you can see mostly it's great, uh, except this U of e -cube maker and a little bit of the A is missing. So probably that was my mistake. I was thinking that having the uh, engraving had just by a piece of paper distance from the material is just right but probably i should have gone just one step further and bring it down one step and that would probably have prevented this kind of error here but that is something that you have to find out in your own tests uh, it's probably also depending on the material whether you need to go closer and uh, try to engrave a little bit deeper so that is fine what can we do with this kind of uh, engraved acrylic part i have an idea actually you can take some led light or an led stripe and put your engraved acrylic part on top of it and then you have a nice sign that you can light up and probably build something like a table light or a table sign or something that you can wall mount but that is only one application of engraving and you can also engrave on other materials like wood um, so i can imagine various various interesting applications i'm really curious now for the laser engraving test using this laser head so let's just swap out the tool heads and try a laser engraving test so the good thing is that we can keep this carving raft installed because we're going to use it also for the laser engraving the only thing that we need to do is that just do the exchange tool header procedure just as we did it with the carving head and then replace it with the laser engraving head so i'm just going to quickly do that um, because it's it's absolutely identical to the previous ones. So we're just gonna fast forward on this so we can start finally with the engraving using the laser. And we're back and it shows us the laser print guide menu as expected. So let's start from here. And step number one is placing the object. So we're gonna place the plate that we wanna engrave on here first and fix this with these mounting plates. Next step is auto home center. So similar to the, the FDM mode, it's going up and it's using this little sensor at the top of the header to determine wh where's the upper end. And the manual says the laser has been calibrated in the factory, so it should be focused when the BL touch sensor touches our printing area. 
it should really know where beam is going to focus on this plate so let's see what happens right now oh seems not to work yeah and i know why so what has actually happened is that this hand screw here has blocked the arm from coming down completely which is a little bit strange because i mean you want to make it tight and then at the same time it has to be horizontal so this is one thing uh and i would say let's try again we're back so we're going back into the print guide say auto home center and hopefully it's not going to hit anything this time Okay, next problem. <laughs> that was unexpected. Okay, so it seems that it, at the end of the homing procedure, it wants to actually come over this hand screw. So it wants to bring back the, the laser head into the home position and then it's hitting this hand screw. So my guess is that we have to remove this completely. So it has actually two problems with these hand screws. The first one is really these two hand screws here at the back side. They need to be aligned with the bar so they don't hit or the bar here doesn't run into them. And then this front one is absolutely blocking it. Uh, so we cannot make anything else than just removing it completely. I hope that nothing has been misaligned uh, due to these <laughs> hits and bumps. So I just want to make sure that this is not standing up. That's probably going to be a little bit of a problem because if you want to mount this and then this plate here doesn't have any pressure on this little corner on this corner here it's probably gonna stand up just a little bit i don't know what consequences this will have in the result but i hope not not anything severe let's just try again to do the auto home and then start the printing i hope this is everything that can go wrong so it's coming down again should i be afraid i hope not Okay, this looks good. Okay, I think we can go to the next step. Laser pre-scan. And by the way, you shouldn't forget to put on your glasses before you do that. Because if you look into the laser beam, no matter if it's like the, the actual full power laser or not, you can cause damage to your eyes. So please always wear the glasses. Now we can set origin, which is again just a confirmation that this is done. And then finally we can print from SD. I'm gonna launch this and let it run until the end. And then we're gonna have a look at the results. So around about three hours later, the laser engraving is done. We should have a closer look at the, the quality here. I think it's pretty amazing. So this is the this is the laser engraving quality. So if you look close, it's not perfect. I mean, you can still see super small gaps between those lines, but this is only visible in high magnifications. So we are really close now using a special lens for this. If you just hold it in front of you, you will not notice this. And it wasn't too complicated. I mean, I used the, the pre-configured file and you can use any image that you have and you can run it through the software that's provided with the printer to prepare it for laser engraving. So the whole process is really just straightforward. So that have been the laser engraving and the CNC engraving tests. So far the results are pretty nice. Just a few words on the laser engraving, really to think about what kind of materials you are engraving on. This is just cardboard. So the fumes that have been generated from the laser engraving this cardboard, they are not toxic, but I still had to open the window because it started to smell. So make sure you have a room where we have a window that you can open. If you wanna engrave on other materials, please make sure you know what you're doing because some plastic material, for example, are really generating toxic fumes. So that's probably not such a good idea. Something like leather is probably okay, but it also creates some really intensively sm smelling fumes. So make sure that you have some fresh air coming into the room and also make sure that you always wear the protective glasses every time you run the laser engraving. Safety first and use the glasses. Next time, 
on this channel. We're doing a final review of this device. Also, we're gonna have a look at the software that's coming with the printer, doing a little bit testing on that. Also, I'm gonna show you how to do a firmware upgrade and then we're wrapping it up. So stay tuned for that video. Also, don't forget that I'm giving away this printer by the end of March. So register for the giveaway at crosslink.io slash free. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends. Also subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna see you next time. Bye bye.